Saying that from now on we're going to be carbon neutral is not enough. We have to start getting to carbon negative. Capturing carbon from the waste emissions of flue gases and converting it into products is a $1 trillion opportunity. Today, there is a potential carbon economy that exists. People should start buying into the vision that carbon negative products are possible, profitable and sustainable. Carbon Clean Solutions is a global leader in capturing carbon dioxide from the waste flue gases and converting this carbon dioxide into products that could be sold into the market. So on one side we bring the innovation to actually suck this carbon out which would have otherwise be left up in the air. And on the second side we bring the market side where there is a profitability and sustainability angle to it. We have a proven technology that works at, a, at about 31 sites all over the world and a commercial business model that will allow any polluter or any carbon dioxide emitter to capture carbon dioxide and think of ways they can convert into product and sell in their local markets. The major industries where we are trying to make a difference are really the people who do not move fast. You know, these are really the big tankers. If you, if, if you look at the, the, the shipping industry, they are big tankers, but then they need a very small speedboat to literally pull them into the harbor. So we believe that we are that small speedboat with the right technology in place to put these or to pull these right uh, these uh, these industries into the harbor of decarbonizing them and doing this profitably and sustainably. The whole discussion about this company actually started in uh, summer of 2008 when my co-founder just returned from uh, from an internship. And on a coffee conversation, I happened to ask him, what did you do? And he said, I captured carbon dioxide from a refinery, from the chimney of a refinery. And I was quite intrigued by it. And I said, is it possible to do it technologically? He said, yeah. I said, great, let's start a consulting business on this. And these are university days. So my dorm room was our headquarters and my co-founder's dorm room were our labs. We started a consulting company that would actually help people come up with solutions to decarbonize their existing operations. But we quite soon we actually realized nobody wants to get consulted from 22 year olds so <laughs> that was like an inflection point okay that's a light bulb in 2009 uh, we put together a small funding round of fifty thousand dollars from friends and family uh, who helped us start the company in october 2009 and literally just get started with the basic uh, um, lab work uh, in india where we could actually show to people at lab scale that um, whatever great idea we have actually works at lab scale. So that was the start. There's a tragedy behind what keeps me up in the night and why I do this and why I'm motivated towards it. I was born in a city called Bhopal in India, which is famous for a very big industrial disaster and a lot of people died. That disaster happened three nights before my parents' wedding. So my whole family tree was actually in the town when this disaster happened. And a lot of people actually got affected, short term, long term, and the effects are still there. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of medication you take, it's, it's still there. So I think I've been deeply moved by the fact that something bad can happen if you do not control industrial processes. Now this is just one small city in India carbon problem today is going to affect the whole world, the whole population, everybody. And I think that's really the personal reason and the personal motive behind I do what I do.